Hi, and welcome to theCUBE. I'm your host, Lisa Martin, and we are on the ground at Google with CloudNow, which is a nonprofit organization with leading women in cloud and uh, converging technologies. We're here tonight because it's their fifth annual Top Women in Cloud Innovation Awards, and we are so thrilled to be joined by one of the keynotes tonight. We have Julie Hanna here. Julie, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, it's great to be with you. Julie, you are uh, quite the inspiration. You are a chairwoman at Kiva.org, you are a board member at Mozilla, and uh, also something that is extremely impressive. In 2015, President Obama appointed you as presidential ambassador for global entrepreneurs to help develop the next generation of entrepreneurs. Wow, that's amazing. I'd love to understand a little bit more about that. What have you been uh, able to achieve in that role, that presidential appointed role uh, in the last year or so? And what are some of the, the things that you're the most proud of? Yeah, it's, a, it's a, been a, a real wonderful honor to really export the entrepreneurship, um, kind of my own journey and the entrepreneurial models in Silicon Valley to other parts of the country, other parts of the world. Um, and essentially, the role was born out of President Obama's insight that um, entrepreneurship, the way that we celebrate and support it here in the U.S. may be the thing that we're most universally admired for, and that if we can export that to places that could really be uplifted economically to parts of the country, parts of the world, then um, ultimately um, that can play a very important role in peace building because you can't have nation stability without economic stability. And particularly in parts of the world where you have high youth unemployment um, with, with low prospect for jobs, if we can ignite sort of the possibility in that path of entrepreneurship for young people around the world, um, like places in my homeland, Egypt, um, then that can really play a powerful role in terms of the next generation uh, of young people. That's fascinating. How did you get appointed to that role? Was that something that you really wanted um, to be in consideration for, or was it based on this in incredible experience that you've developed? So the the I don't know what the process was. Um, I was uh, I was appointed. Um, uh, it, uh, it, it's it, people are selected for it, and so um, I don't know what the what the methodology was. But I I do know that the goal was to identify um, American entrepreneurs, U.S. based entrepreneurs, to serve as role models and to really sort of help the president. Um, advanced entrepreneurship um, in, play, in parts of the world where entrepreneurship has become sort of played an important part of the fo foreign and economic policy agenda, uh, places like Africa, places like Cuba, um, where I've had the, uh, the, the honor and pleasure to, to um, accompany him and, and, and support the work there. You talk about role models. Talk to us a little bit about your career path. We mentioned some of the things that you're doing. Who were some of the most influential role models to you from the time you were a young girl to what you're doing now? You know, it's a, it's a great question. Um, I, in many ways, um, they were people that I read about um, at distance um, who were thinking about big global problems and were um, innovating their way to solve them. Um, I also, because of having born uh, into a uh, kind of war uh, conditions and fleeing war, I have drawn great inspiration from people like Nelson Mandela and Gandhi and finding kind of a different path to uh, peace and stability and uniting kind of us at our, uh, um, at our humanity using technology and business to do that um, in ways that uh, really sort of help unlock human potential. So, so people like that have been a source of inspiration for me. Once I arrived in Silicon Valley, um, I've had the pleasure uh, and privilege to work with remarkable people who, um, who have, have always been a source of inspiration for me um, at, at up close and personal as well. That's fantastic. I love what you talked about unlocking potential. Give us a little bit uh, of your history with CloudNow. Obviously, we mentioned that you're a keynote at the CloudNow event tonight. How long have you been involved in CloudNow and what was it about this organization for, for women leaders in technology that made you want to, yeah, I want to be involved in this? Well, I recently learned about CloudNow, so, um, so I'm, I'm still, um, uh, discovering kind of the breadth and depth of their work. Um, I find their work and mission so vitally important and inspiring uh, because, you know, I, I believe, uh, Maya Angelou said, I believe that we, um, we model ourselves after the heroes and sheroes that we honor. 
And I've come to believe that one of the most important and powerful ways of advancing women in technology is in the way that we amplify and celebrate them. And CloudNow's work in doing that um, is a really, really important part of that mix. Absolutely, and something that you and I were talking about off air, Silicon Angle, which is our media company, The Cube is the flagship show. We've been focused on, for the last several years, and really helping to do that, amplify the voices of women technologists from big companies to small nonprofit organizations like mm -hmm. this really recognizing, hey Houston, we have a problem. Um, I'd love to get your perspective on, uh, I love what you talked about with role models. If we look at some of the statistics of women in tech, some of them are bleak, but I believe that there's a tremendous amount of opportunity. It's one of the reasons, Cloud Now is a manifestation of one of those opportunities. Um, what, give us a little bit of insight as to what your keynote message was to help inspire current women in tech and those that are some of our future technology leaders. Well, I think one of the things that is um, insights about what draws women to technology um, is to sort of connecting the dots on the power of technology to do meaningful things um, rather than technology for its own sake. So how can it be applied in very meaningful ways with a deep sense of purpose uh, to change the world, to unlock uh, our potential as human beings to connect us. And so, so uh, that's really been the red thread in my work is viewing technology as the most democratizing force in the history of humankind. Its capacity to um, connect us, to uh, al allow us to recognize how interdependent we are on a global scale, um, democratizing access to communication and information and with Kiva access to capital. That's really b been what's driven me. Um, its capacity to enable fair access on a mass scale is unprecedented. And when you think about all the ways that that can be applied, we've just barely started to scratch the surface. So I talked a lot about dreams because I believe that you know, one dream can transform a million realities. And if we, you know, dreams aren't something that is sort of the domain of, you know, young children and frivolous ideas. You know, moonshots are dreams. I think one of the reasons that we draw such great inspiration from the idea of moonshots are moonshots are dreams trying to become reality. Right. So really, if we give ourselves permission to dream and imagine all the ways that technology can solve um, our greatest challenges as human beings, um, this is a crucially important time to do that because we're faced with ex existential threats uh, and technology and business are uniquely qualified to solve um, many or most of them. I love that, that democratiz we, we often talk in the tech world about democratizing data and things, but democratization of technology and communication, so articulately put. Juliana, keynote at CloudNow's uh, award ceremony tonight. Thank you so much for stopping by theCUBE. It's great to be with you, thank you. And if you know a woman in tech who should be featured in our Palo Alto studios, tweet us at theCUBE, hashtag women in tech. I'm your host, Lisa Martin, CUBE on the ground at Google with CloudNow. We'll see you next time.